Hey folks, here's a quick view of some new features in the Sienna NDI processing engine, particularly the multi-view modules. Um, what's been added is the ability to receive uh, UMD under monitor display information from external systems using the TSL UMD protocol. So what we're looking at here is a NDI processing engine and we've just got a couple of multi-viewers here with four inputs here and another one with ten inputs we'll have a look at in a minute. The one with four inputs is set in the UMD mode, which means that the labels it's getting are being driven by the uh, TSL UMD protocol coming into the processing engine. And we're actually sending that from the Sienna NDI router. Um, this is the NDI router which is controlling the inputs to this multi-viewer, and it's also sending out uh, UMD information. And we click that in a simpler view if we like. Um, as you'll see, if I, if I want to, I can change this. So this is basically uh, the Segment one on the multi-viewer is connected to router one, which is the output of the router, number one. If we change that to pan, we'll see that the signal changes, of course, because we've changed the routing. But also underneath, you'll see that the uh, name of the label changes, that's because it's being driven by the UMD protocol. We can also use uh, external router control system. So for example, this is using the Blackmagic Video Hub protocol to control the Sienna NDI router. And here we can do exactly the same thing. We can control the router, which in turn then sends out the UMD information. And we've got a completely connected infrastructure that's doing exactly what we need. If we change the second one, we can see the same thing. You can see the label changes and of course the signal changes. And this applies to the quad multiviewer, the 10-way multiviewer and the 16-way multiviewer in Sienna NDI processing engine. And if you have a quick look at the 10-way multi-viewer, you can see that it's obviously a different layout. Um, this one's got the labels turned off, but you can do exactly the same thing with the UMD labels, or you can choose manual labeling mode. So this one here, for example, is set up in manual labeling mode. Uh, if I turn it off and put the label in here, so I could put clock in here and turn it on, we will see that the first segment will get the label clock. It's a second to boot up, and there we go, we've got the label clock on the first segment. Um, so the uh, NDI processing engine has got all kinds of different uh, uses, but uh, just using these very flexible multi-viewers is a great way to enhance an existing NDI infrastructure. If you're using a uh, NDI-based vision mixer and you'd like more flexible multi-viewers, perhaps with the ability to change the layout and things like that, and also to drive the labels using uh, external systems. Um, also, you'll be able to drive tally as well using external systems in a future update. Hope you enjoyed that. Come back soon.